Not long ago, Xpeng, Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, announced it would be selling all of its electric cars. In particular, this model I'm about to share with you, which is its international specific model and a mid to large size electric SUV within 25 different countries. You're probably thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably years away, but they said it's all going to happen within the next 23 months. In other words, this car I'm about to share with you is a vehicle that you may be able to purchase within the next 23 months. And my friends, there is very little available on the market right now, which competes with it. This is the kind of car which I think is going to appeal to many, many families. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Electric Viking. Great to have you here on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Awesome to have you. Welcome back to everyone else. x -Pump. I'm sure you've heard of them. If you haven't, well, you must be new to this channel. I'll put some links in the description below to some of the videos I've made about x -Pung vehicles. Now, the P5 is x -Pung's sedan. It's a similar shape, size, length, everything else to a Toyota Camry. It has more interior space like every pretty much every EV does versus a gas vehicle of similar size on the outside. That's one of the big advantages. The other advantages are the fact that it only costs as much as a Toyota Camry, but it's fully electric, it's extremely luxurious, and it has far better technology than a Toyota Camry. In other words, don't buy a Toyota Camry. Buy the x P5 unless you've got rocks in your head. Well, of course, it may or may not be available in your country, so I understand if you buy something else right now. But if you're able to wait, x like I said, will have a number of different models available in 25 different countries over the next 23 months. And honestly, if you watch my video, you'll see why it's so much better than a Toyota Camry. So where are x at right now? Well, they've increased their electric car sales figures almost every single month last year. In December last year, they sold 17,000 electric vehicles. And of course, they would have sold a lot more if they could have produced more. But they are definitely ramping up production this year. x Motors has begun operations in Norway, but now they've just started up in Sweden as well. On the 25th of November, 2021, a week after x Motors launched the brand in the country, it announced plans to open the first Swedish x Experience Center in Q1 of 2022. The company has chosen the Westfield Mall of Scandinavia. In addition, they've also launched in the Netherlands. That happened in October of last year. And they'll soon launch in the Netherlands and Denmark, apparently by the end of this month. So that leaves another 21 countries left to get their electric vehicles or left to see x presence over the next 23 months. So how are x actually going to make this work? Well, x Motors currently builds EVs in China, but it's setting up two new domestic factories in two other Chinese cities to produce enough vehicles for the demand it expects to see. And the demand is getting right now. When the new factories are up and running, the annual production capacity will be more than 400,000 units, a lot more vehicles than they're building right now. With double shift production at these plants, it will have the potential to roll out 600,000 electric cars per year, likely starting next year. That's a lot of electric vehicles. Its CEO said during the Q3 2011 earnings conference call that the company expects to deliver 35 to 37,000 electric vehicles in Q4 of 2021. At the end of November 2021, x -Pung Motors year-to-date delivery stood at 82,000 units, and they hit nearly 100,000 for the year, surpassing the 100,000 total vehicle mark in October of 2021. Now, x -Pung is far from achieving the high production levels its three factories will allow it to. However, scaling up exports to Europe will significantly improve its plant capacity utilization. In November of 2021, x Motors announced the expansion of its product lineup with its second SUV, the x G9. And boy, is this a vehicle that I would love to test drive, and honestly, probably to own. It's the perfect size for me and my family. Unveiled at the auto show in 2021 in China, the G9 is the brand's fourth model, and it is bigger and more advanced than the x G3i. In fact, it's a similar size to the Tesla Model X, but Apparently, it would probably be a fair bit cheaper. The x G9 looks a lot like an SUV version of the x P7 sedan. It's a good looking vehicle, you've got to say. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that in the comment section below. At the front, it has a signature full width ultra slim DRL strip on the top, separate headlights, which integrate two LiDAR sensors, a smooth mask in place of a traditional radiator grill, a mesh pattern, low air intake, and an elegantly designed bonnet. I personally think it's one of the best looking electric vehicles, period. 
Maybe the best looking electric SUV as well. Let me know if you agree or you disagree with that though. From the sides, the G9 has a sleek glass house, neatly designed door panels with smooth surfacing and flush handles for aerodynamics. It's also got chunky five spoke 21 inch alloy wheels. And personally, I'd probably go for smaller wheels if you have the choice because you're gonna get better range with smaller wheels. At the rear, the G9 mimics the looks of the P7 with full width tail lamps and block leaded x pine branding. However, the tail lamps look bigger on the SUV. As for the interior, well, to be honest, we don't know much about it because it hasn't really been shown properly other than some spy photo shots. In those spy photo shots, it looks nice, but I can't say too much about it. I can say though that the interiors of every other x -Pung electric vehicle that are currently on sale now show that their interiors are very luxurious and much, much nicer than say, cars from legacy automakers such as General Motors, Toyota, Honda, etc. There is one thing to point out though, a new trend in Chinese vehicle design and interior design is the use of a third screen in the front and the use of advanced technology. Now this third screen usually serves as a multimedia display for the entertainment of the front passenger while also allowing them to view key driving information and modify the navigation route. Often this screen comes merged with the digital instrument cluster and the central display on a single panel. The spy shot doesn't reveal whether the G9 will have a passenger display or stick to the re relatively old dual screen cockpit layout, but I'd say it will be a modern version with the three screens. So how big will it be? Well, we don't know how long it's gonna be. We don't know how wide it's gonna be. We don't know how high it's gonna be, but apparently people are saying it's gonna be just over five meters long. And as you can see from the, sh the shape of it, it looks to be about a similar length to Tesla's Model X, but a little bit bigger. You can see it's got a very, very large overhang at the back with the boot size, but it's actually got a three meter wheelbase. So likely it's gonna be about 5.1 meters in length, quite a bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y or a Ford Mustang Mach-E. And that personally is one of the things that appeals to me with this vehicle. What about performance and range? Well, x states that the G9 boasts the company's new generation X-Power 3.0 powertrain system with China's first 800 volt mass production SIC platform. The G9 has a peak DC charging power for up to 480 kilowatt charging and charging for just five minutes will give you 200 kilometers of range. That's pretty impressive. It's also got the new XEEA 3.0 electronic and electrical architecture from x -Pung. The top end configuration of the x SUV will have a twin motor all drive powertrain with around 316 kilowatt or 424 horsepower and 655 newton meters of torque. It's gonna to be capable of doing zero to 62 miles an hour or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in under five seconds and have a range of around about 600 kilometers or 355 to 360 miles. Now CNF Post says that one of the battery packs will be a Sun Motor manufactured 4C power cell. The report suggests that 4C could be short for a fast charging time of 15 minutes, which is a quarter of an hour. x Motors said when it unveiled the G9 that it would accommodate a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack with a power density of 2.2 kilowatt per kilo. Now what about features? Well, x says that the G9 will have features like X-Pilot 4.0, which is kind of like x autopilot, 5G connectivity, firmware over the air updates, and it will be x first model with X-Pilot 4.0 and China's first model implementing a gigabit ethernet communication architecture, X-Pilot 4.0, will enable full scenario assisted driving from vehicle startup to parking. And if you've seen my video about x automated technology, about their automation, it's extremely impressive. Thanks to gigabit ethernet connections architecture, a firmware over there upgrade will take about half an hour. Built on new generation hardware platform, X-Pilot 4.0 will have a significantly higher perception capability and deliver full scenario driver assistance, they say. The fourth version of x Motors driving assistance system will come with 508 TOPS ECU computing power. That's pretty damn fast. Two NVIDIA Drive or in autonomous driving chips, an 8 million pixel front view binocular camera, and 2.9 million pixel side view cameras, and a highly integrated and expandable domain controller will be part of the new hardware. In addition, it will come with two LiDARs as well. On a side note, x Motors is working on X-Pilot 5.0 as well. The fifth version will mark the true shift from advanced assisted driving to autonomous driving, they say. The company has finished the overall structural design of X-Pilot 5.0, but we don't expect a commercial launch for around two years. Now here's the important part. This vehicle was designed to be an international vehicle. It's the first vehicle designed 
to meet international design regulations. Xpeng Motors CEO said that the G9 is the company's first model developed with international markets in mind right from the start. So it's going to be responsible for the company's brand development and growth in international markets. For design and various other aspects of the product, the company took the references, preferences and needs in overseas markets into account during its development. The CEO said, Xpeng G9 is the first model of Xpeng Motors that was launched for domestic and international markets at the beginning of its development. It also shows the determination of Xpeng Motors to move towards internationalization. So when is it actually going to be released? Well, previous annou announcements from Xpeng suggest that the, it plans to begin deliveries of the G9 in the third quarter of this year. I don't know which countries are going to see it, but 25 different countries are going to see this vehicle within the next two years. So when I find out what they are, I'll let you know as well. The company will likely launch its international markets starting in 2023. And it said during the event that it is designed for international and Chinese markets from its conception. Now the production spec version will be released at the Beijing Auto Show in April of 2022. And I expect to be at that show and make probably a live video on the channel so you can actually have a look at this vehicle as soon as it's officially released. Now apparently the European launch will actually happen in the fourth quarter of this year. What about price? I mean, price matters, right? If this thing costs 100,000 US dollars or more, it's sort of not really relevant to most people, is it? Well, apparently the price is gonna be similar to the Tesla Model Y price. Potentially the base model will be even cheaper. That's what people are saying. I don't know if that's true, but if that is true, then that's really exciting news. Now, my question for you is, would you consider buying a vehicle like this if it costs a similar amount or slightly less than a Tesla Model Y? Obviously, it's a bit bigger of a vehicle. You can see at the back there, it's got a pretty big size boot. That's what really appeals to me. But what would appeal to you in an EV? What's the main priority for you in an EV? Is it range? Is it size? Is it the looks? Is it the battery pack size? Let me know what your priority is because I'm genuinely interested to know what everyone's thinking about this car and other EVs and why they choose to buy the EV that they choose.